Hold on. Oh. All the wisdom, the wisdom that you've shown today is, there's no wisdom. Oh, you've shown no wisdom. I said all the wisdom that you've shown today, you've got no wisdom. Now you're backtracking. Answer one question. One question. I've asked it to you five times. Why does the Open University, the professors at the Open University, why... Go and look on the... Uh, uh, you just Google it. Okay, let me ask you another question. No, no. What's in a crick? What's in a crick discovered DNA? It was a, actually, it wasn't then. There was a lady called um, uh, Rosemary... Um, Eh? No, no, you're talking nonsense, sir. All, all I'm talking about... Yeah, yeah, I'd love to see it. But we still, we still have no one atheist coming to Speaker's Corner with a transitional fossil. Not one. You first answer that question. Because no one's answered that question today. Why do the atheists not come and disprove our belief. Why doesn't their worldview come to Speaker's Corner and make a mockery of Judaism, Christianity and Islam? Why don't you atheists come and destroy it once and for all? Because there's no such thing as an atheist. You don't have any scientific evidence and you've never come to Speaker's Corner with a transitional fossil. This man is saying to me, I don't, I'm not educated. All you have to do, it's so simple. Come to Speaker's Corner, get Richard Dawkins, Stephen Hawking's, any of your, any of your atheist scientists. James Tour, Nobel Prize nominated, you can look at his challenge, a biologist that is, uh, has been nominated for a Nobel Prize five times, has issued a challenge to the top atheists in the world. Not one atheist has been able to respond. Not one, because you can't map out the biology, biological sequence of evolution. It's impossible. In fact, the second law of thermodynamics, the second law of thermodynamics says in entropy, everything deconstructs. Evolution is not, a, no evolution works anywhere, sir. You can't get back to wolves from dogs, but you can get wolves to get dogs. Evolution doesn't work. There's only something called devolution. Ladies and gentlemen, do not be swayed by this nonsense. This is what's being taught to your children at university and college. Your children are being misled by this. They are not looking at God. They are looking at so-called science without the evidence. Where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? Where's the evidence, Where's the, evidence the scientific evidence? I might be uneducated. I might be. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that I'm uneducated. Will you give me, will you give me that scientists have zero transitional fossils? Every fossil is not transitional. Where's the evidence of that? Transitional from what? So, so, so the, the fossil of a chimpanzee is actually the fossil of a dolphin. How do you know millions of years? You haven't. They carbon dated a petrified tree trunk at the University of Southern California. It petrified in two years. They dated it as eight and a half thousand years old. There's your science. Oh, big mistakes are made. No mistakes are made with God. When God says, I created the heavens and the earth, you've got, you've got it de facto from the power that be. No, no. I, I, no, no, no. I'm seeing it with my eyes. Because nothing just materializes, does it? Can anyone make some can anyone make a mountain range? Can anyone produce a mountain range? Can anyone make a tree appear here? Oh, it evolved. Over billions of years will a tree evolve here? <laughs> Could do. Maybe. Might. Study of baits in the Amazon. Have you do you know about this? Baits in the Amazon, the butterflies. That's where he proves evolution. No, the butterflies, the butterflies prove. Yes, the butterflies, the butterflies, the butterflies prove 
microevolution. The butterflies prove that one kind can transform and, and, and make minor changes. It doesn't prove that two different kinds can mate. You don't get a butterfly and a bird mating and producing offspring. Nowhere. Oh, you do? So what butterfly and bird? Evolution is not a factor we will have. We will carbon. No, no, no. This is a fact. This is a scientific fact. Okay. So where? So where's the transitional fossil of a bird and a butterfly? No. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Greg. Correct? Are we carbon or not? Where are you from? I'm Greg? from the United Kingdom. Where are you from? No, no, I mean your accent. Where are you yeah. originally from? South Africa. Originally from South Africa. Oh, lovely. Where at? What, what, it's a, it's a beautiful country. country. I have relatives there. Okay, that's fascinating. I'm speaking about... Do you believe... Yeah, yeah, give me a question. You mentioned the second law of thermodynamics. Could you state what that is? Entropy. Everything... Everything... In equation form, form, could you state it? I can't state it in the equation format. Do you want me to read it out? I suggest to you as a physicist, you don't know what the second law of thermodynamics is. What is it? Delta S equals delta Q over T. Okay, and what does it state in words? <laughs> the second law of thermodynamics, what is it in words? It states many things. Well, if there are many statements of it, do you want the one... What is the meaning of the word entropy? What is the meaning of the word entropy? It's, it depends on what, what, which meaning you take. It's a, it's a tough I'm, concept to explain. I'm just talking about the second law of thermodynamics as stated at Open University. The, the, the second law, fundamentally, fundamentally, entry, entropy is a measure of order. System. Is that, are you happy with that definition? Entropy is a value of order of a system. How ordered a system is. You're saying entropy is the value of order in a system? Correct. Okay. A rough measure of order in a system, yes. Okay. Entropy, the measure of a system's thermal energy per unit temperature that is unavailable for it's doing useful work. For useful because work. because so work is obtained from ordered molecular correct. motion. So the, the amount of entropy, entropy is a measure entropy. of a molecular disorder correct. or randomness of a system. Correct. So the okay. lower the entropy, the greater the capacity of a system to do so, useful work. So, so everything's design. improving or everything is... Not improving. Not quite. No. No. What is but, it? But, but, so I'm asking you a question but, well, as a physicist. I'll, I'll answer you. A in a closed system, things tend to become more disordered, and less useful work can be done within that system. That's what entropy is. The second law of thermodynamics. At a rough level, that's what it states. Okay. So, in a closed system. So is evolution scientifically evidenced? Is it a fact? Well, I, I, that is, has nothing to do with the law of thermodynamics. I'm a physicist. Okay. Right. But we're speaking. But what I can say, what I can say is that evolution. what I can say. Well, I know. But you were speaking about the second law of thermodynamics. With with, with respect, Greg, you don't know what it is. Well, and you were saying that evolution was impossible because of the second law of thermodynamics. But in fact, it's not. Okay. But, but that doesn't mean it happens. It just means it's not impossible through the second law of thermodynamics. And I'm just what I would what I would challenge you. What I would challenge. I wish you that you'd become a Christian, sir. In a part. I wish that you'd become a Christian because I want to see you in eternity forever. I don't want to see you dying and going to hell. Where did God come from? God's eternal. What's your field of expertise? My, I haven't got a field of expertise. Oh, yeah. Presumably no. he's a preacher. Right. Let's there must be... be uh, where did God come from? No. But, but, but you've, got, you've got James Tour. I don't find who's a no Do you know James Tour? You're a Christian. Yes. So do you believe James Tour is a Nobel Prize nominated scientist. Yes. Do you know of him? Sorry, who? He's James Tour. Okay. He's I'll issued a talent. So you, 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 you're saying to me, I've got no education, <laughs> I've got no speciality. <laughs> You What's asked me, yeah, and I said I haven't. Oh, I haven't got a field of expertise. Okay. Does that exclude me from speaking about no, science? No, not at all. But okay. here's the thing. My, my advice to you, and I'm a Christian. I've literally just come from evolution? church. I've literally but just come from... Do you believe in evolution? Not in, not in the way probably this gentleman does. No, no, so not, no. Do you believe in the Bible account of creation? I, uh, it depends on what you mean. Not, I mean in, not in a literal sense that it happened yeah, so 6,000 years ago so you, and there's so a genealogy. you have faith more in scientists than in the word of God? No, not at all. No, so not at all. I just interpret it slightly differently to what you so do. But I'm... I'm actually, as a, I'm trying to say to this man, who seems a very nice man, who seems very genuine, he's coming to the park to preach, to try and spread the word of God. What I'm trying to say to him is that if he doesn't understand 
certain scientific concepts like the second law of thermodynamics, he probably shouldn't come into a park saying what they do and don't say well, do because I don't think he knows. See, I do know what the second law of thermodynamics says, and I'm a Christian. So I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not disagreeing. You know, Jesus died on the cross well, for our sins. Of Adam and Eve and, uh, God created. No. 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 Listen. It depends what you mean. Yeah. Is, the account, the is the account I mean, that God... The let me, let me okay. tell you, let me tell you my, let me tell can, you my can interpretation. We just let's go backwards, before, two steps. Before we do that, I want to challenge this man that potentially if he doesn't understand science, he shouldn't come to the park talking okay. about it because I, he might meet people like I, me I, that actually know what the science says. I understand yeah. the scientific method. I understand that the scientific method yes. is what scientists use for evidence. Yes, Okay. that's correct. The simple term of entropy is the degree of disorder or yes. uncertainty in a system. Yes. The degradation of the matter and energy yes. in the universe to an ultimate state of inert uniformity. Of entropy yes. is the general trend of the universe yes. towards death and disorder. Correct. That is correct. Okay, so, right. so what did I say wrong about entropy? Well, you said that entropy proved, the second law of thermodynamics proved, that evolution couldn't happen because everything would become more disordered. Okay, so now, I stand by true. that claim. I stand by that claim okay. from that simple mm -hmm. statement of what entropy is. Entropy if is the universe is heading the towards universe, disorder, the universe is. If the not universe, every single thing in the universe. Okay. The universe as a whole. You so see, pockets, entropy pockets can, of the universe are going against entropy. Pockets of the universe, small parts of a system, can become more ordered so long as, so long as the rest of the system becomes more disordered to a greater extent. Yeah, like what? Can you, can you give that us evidence true. of that? Of course. Of course I can. You can bring a table to me and it can have rambled, jumbled items, some red, some green. And I, by putting energy in, can sort the items into one side red, one side green. Now, the table has become more ordered. The table has become more ordered. So locally, entropy has decreased. But I have put energy in. Okay, the but what, energy has come from what the does sun. That, what does that plants, have to do with evolution? Though? I'm saying that locally, things can become more ordered. So entropy can decrease locally. Okay. I, and but, I'm a physicist. I'm trying to explain it to you in simple terms. Okay, but this but, is a fact. But, but that, scientific t yes. that scientific experiment yes. doesn't prove that evolution can uh, uh, No, it can doesn't occur. prove evolution. But what it proves okay. is that the second law of thermodynamics doesn't okay. exclude things becoming more ordered. But it does. No, it, it does. Because you are saying. Yes. You're saying that a pocket mm. can have order yes. if everything around it has got disorder. If, so if you're the saying the universe as a whole okay. is becoming more disordered. And indeed, Fine. and indeed we know this to be true because look, the grass has grown. Now the grass has grown from tiny seeds. Sure. Correct? So and, uh, is the please, grass gonna please, die? Please, please, please. The grass has grown from tiny seeds, and the reason this has been allowed to happen, this the reason this can happen is that the sun God is inputting it. huge amounts of energy, energy into the grass and therefore the sun is becoming massively more disordered every second, every second. And so a tiny amount of increase of order is possible here. Now you say this is a system that's been created by God, so do I. I'm a okay. Christian, I but agree. But that order, that order, let's just stop there. Yes. The order that you're saying mm. has come out of it. Yes. That order, yes. how does that order produce mm. from two different kinds mm -hmm. evolution macro evolution not I'm micro not a evolution biologist, my friend okay I don't, but you're saying to I, me I, I am telling you're you saying, not to come to the park and talk I'm, t I'm, I'm, telling I'm telling you that your claim I'm telling you I'm telling you that your claim you is fallacious and let me explain to you why your claim is fallacious what, what claim you're Where's saying but I'll tell you now if you yes. just listen up okay. you said to me don't come to the park yes. and speak about the second law of thermodynamics, yes. if you don't know what it is. Correct. I've read you out a simple explanation yes. of it, yes. which clearly states mm -hmm. that the universe is heading towards a state of disorder. We all agree. Fine. Yes. You're then saying, hang on a second, mm -hmm. out of all the disorder in the universe, yes. you get something ordered like grass. Voila. Proves evolution. No, I didn't say that. Okay, you why did that. you intervene you, in this I discussion? I never said no, that. no, I was having so a discussion I said, here I said that, that the second law entropy, of thermodynamics did entropy not proves, the possibility of evolution. No, entropy, you said I'm entropy saying to you, proved that it could entropy happen. proves you cannot get order from, you cannot get order from um, 
disorder. disorder. But you can, so long you as you can, But you, you, you haven't given so me one bit of scientific... No, that's not an explanation. That's not scientific I evidence. That can. is saying he had to put energy into <laughs> objects on a table. <laughs> you had to put energy into objects on a table. Order comes from disorder, but I have to put energy in. Yes, but everything, yeah. everything is dying. Yeah, right. Everything I degrades. Right. The universe yeah, degrades. Uh, the universe uh, degrades. Of it does. Yes. Where's the As scientific whole, experiment yes. showing yes. from what you are saying yes. that from the order that comes from disorder yes. that you can get evolution? I'm not a biologist. I know. I Thank you. Argument. So you why, said... why don't you now listen to what this man is saying against what I'm saying? Because I'm saying to you that entropy means the universe is in a state of disorder. You and you and the gentleman that's run away are saying to me, no, 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 you don't know what you're talking okay. about. Okay. Now you've got a physicist okay, okay. that is against so me. To be, you said disorder, yeah? So everything's got an opposite. Are we, can we go no, on this one? No, no? Every, I don't agree with that. You don't agree? So there is no heat, no cold, no soft water, no hard water, I don't, no? I don't say everything's got an opposite. Do you, do you have an opposite? Yeah, everything's got an opposite. Who's now, your female, opposite? A female. That's you, Greg. Is an opposite huh? to me. Is a female. No, that's not. That's yes. not, that's not an yes. opposite. Yes. 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 No. Uh, say a word uh, about evolution because you, you were asking about. I don't know anything about anthropy, so it's. I think. That's okay. Entropy. Okay. I do. Okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, in does. term of evolution, I think one experience that you can make uh, within a laboratory, it's named. Uh, 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 directed evolution mm. it's in a closed system you can make a micro organism to evolve very quickly not because the, 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 the more we are complex organisms the more we are um, I mean if you take a whale and the bacteria it doesn't take the same uh, time for I those implore you. two organisms I implore you to, to read a book called Darwin's devolution by a scientist called Michael Behe, and I implore you to get onto YouTube yeah. and watch James Tour's channel about this subject I'll take note because of that. he's I he's challenged book. five of the top atheists in the world on this very subject of what happened in that lab with those microbes. And I I haven't got a, a memory, so I failed at school continually. So I can't tell you all those all those things then. But he's the scientist and he can. You're laughing, sir. Do you want to add something I was just to that? Say, don't worry if you don't know too much about entropy. It clearly doesn't need it too far. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> say that again? Nothing. I was just saying, don't worry too much if you don't know about, that much about entropy because it clearly doesn't need it. It's fine. Okay. It can clearly I, doesn't can matter. I ask you a genuine question? Thank you. 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 Thank you.